Hi, my name is Fred Andersky, and I'm the Director of Customer Solutions at Bendix. I'm here to give you a brief overview of the Wingman Fusion System and the alerts you can expect to see and hear when you're using the system. Now keep in mind, the Wingman Fusion System does not replace the need for safe drivers, practicing safe driving habits, and comprehensive driver training. You are in control of your truck, and the system is here to help. We'll start by pointing out the driver interface unit. You'll find this on your dash. This is where the alerts and warnings for the Bendix Fusion System, both audible and visual alerts, will come through. As we take a drive, I'll point out some of the alerts that you can expect to see and hear. Remember though, your goal is not to have any of these alerts appear because safe driving practices would dictate that you'll be keeping a safe following distance behind the vehicle in front of you. So let's talk a little bit about the alerts we'll expect to see. There's three key alerts that come through the Bendix driver interface unit that's part of the Bendix wingman fusion system. The first alert and most common is the following distance alert. Above 37 miles per hour, you'll get three alerts, a close, closer, and closest alert. Below 37 miles per hour, we give you typically two alerts, the closer and closest alert. Since we'll be on a freeway, and that's where you'll be doing most of your driving, we'll show you the three alert scenario. So now the driver interface unit is giving us our following distance as well as the speed of the forward vehicle. As I mentioned, the following distance alerts, three alerts above 37 miles per hour, our first alert, is our close alert, single beeps. Second alert, our closer alert. And our third alert, or closest alerts. As you back away from the vehicle, or as the forward vehicle accelerates, the alerts go off. So depending on the scenario your fleet is using for following distance alerts, you may get your first alert as high as three seconds or as low as 1.5 seconds away from the forward vehicle. And the subsequent alerts will then follow suit. So check your operator's manual, talk with your fleet manager to know what scenario your truck is using. The second alert we have is called the impact alert. The impact alert lets you know when the following distance is closing too fast and the system does not have enough brake power to be able to slow the vehicle down and mitigate the collision. Again, because you are the driver and you are in control, you always have the ability to add more braking and or steering to help the system and help yourself mitigate a potential collision. The third alert is the stationary object alert. The stationary object alert lets you know when a metallic object of size is in your lane of travel. It may give you up to a three second heads up to allow you to slow or steer to avoid the object in your lane of travel. One additional alert that is part of the fusion system is lane departure warning. Lane departure warning gives you a right or left side rumble strip sound if you go over six inches to the right or six inches to the left of the lane marking. This can help you mitigate side swipe crashes. Because lane markings may not be clear or be confusing in a work zone, the Bendix Wingman Fusion System gives you the ability to turn off lane departure warning. Simply by pressing this button, lane departure warning is discontinued for 15 minutes. Not to worry, it will automatically restart itself after that 15 minute interval. Lastly, because we have the fusion camera as part of the system, we can also provide not only the lane departure warning alerts, but speed limit sign recognition, or what we call overspeed alert and action. When you're traveling five miles per hour over the speed limit, the system will give you an alert. And if you're traveling 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, the system will give you an alert and a one second dethrottle. So in this video, we covered the alerts you may experience with the Bendix Wingman Fusion System out on the road. If you have additional questions about the alerts or about the system, please refer to the operator's manual that came with your vehicle.